So what are these particular skills that the world requests lawyers are loaded with before jumping to the arena and adding value to global business deals? A number of skills which were not previously top priorities in the profile of the 21st century lawyers are now essential requirements. Number one, a lawyer practicing international business law must be proficient in English. English as a language enabling him to read, talk, address conference calls, work, write. It's a working in English capacity. A lawyer who does not work in English is not conceivable in this world. Secondly, this skill in respect to languages needs to be also more subjectively a proactive attitude to understanding what different lawyers, different businessmen from different parts of the world interpret, how do they address the issues and what type of solutions do they propose. It's not just a matter of understanding the language, it's a matter of anticipating the culture and the way the culture is providing significant to different issues. Unless this proactive attitude is conducted, there is no way a lawyer can sort out the challenges a business deal proposes. Secondly, a lawyer today must have a wide industry expertise. It is not conceivable for a lawyer to compete in a global deal in a given industry against other lawyers who are proficient in that industry. And today's knowledge about a particular economic sector is available generally and widely in the internet. A client, an in-house lawyer, will expect that whoever represents him has a knowledge of his industry, knows who are the main actors, and can draw conclusions on what the atmosphere in that industry is. It is not acceptable anymore other than taking away from your own self-study time to prepare these issues. In the third place, apart from the language and the cultural skills and the uh, industry knowledge, lawyers are supposed to be technological today. A lawyer who is not connected simply does not exist in the current world. And connectivity means being all the time available through the mobile devices, responding in real time, if not with the proper technical solution, because this requires study time, at least with an acknowledgement that a specific communication has been received and that a necessity is on your table. Technology means also being able to access files, to access jurisprudence, to download whatever correspondence, previous correspondence with the client exists, being connected, in short, means being in the world and being available. In addition to this, lawyers need to be mobile. In the old days, lawyers used to sit in their office and sort out their work. This is no longer the world we're living in. It's a matter of traveling for working and no longer working, no longer doing some work uh, on a different journey and then back to the office. At the end of the day, we need to learn how to work while we travel. We need to work uh, as if we were in the office while we are not in the office. And we need to invest in traveling because our clients are basically traveling the world and they expect us to do the same thing. So therefore, mobility is an essential part of the value that lawyers can add to business in the 21st century. Apart from these issues, technical knowledge remains to be an essential feature of today's capacities required for a lawyer. Technical skills today are not the technical skills that were required in the past. In the past, technical skills were strictly related to local knowledge. 
Today, strict local knowledge is simply not enough. Strict local knowledge is only there to provide the very last local answer. What a successful lawyer engaged in international business law requires in the present world is based on that very proficient and very sensitive local knowledge, whether from a case law or for a, from a code law system uh, and background. A lawyer needs to be able to anticipate problems in other issues, in other jurisdictions. He needs to be able to know what the answers are. He needs to be able to identify risks. He needs to be able to draw on his experience in similar deals and sort out the problems. We were discussing earlier that Anglo-Saxon case law is prevailing over Napoleonic code law. While this is true, many global deals are sorted out because lawyers are smart enough to appropriately converge both systems. And in many cases, a code law solution, a code law idea, works to sort out a problem in an Anglo-Saxon case law environment. And this is precisely what lawyers are there for. Solve the problems and make the things that clients want to happen effectively happen free of legal risks. Relationship and commercial skills. Today's lawyer needs to be loaded with additional relationship and commercial skills, which were not required in the past. Uh, the lawyers we are competing with in different areas, such as in-house lawyers, partners in law firms, all of them have a wide range of skills in the commercial side, have a wide network of contacts, and are every day exercising their and challenging their legal knowledge towards the changing world in different persons. Leadership skills are part of this. A lawyer today needs to be able to manage very wide teams integrated by people from very different places with different backgrounds. It's no longer a matter of where were you raised in, what is your knowledge today, Technical knowledge from La Sorbonne is equivalent to the knowledge from the London School of Economics or from a law degree in different places. What counts is the attitude to problem solving and the knowledge that can be brought from the experience of exercising in the international arena. Finally, economic knowledge is part of the profile. Today's lawyer is not conceivable unless he can display an array of sensibility and understanding for the actual figures that surround a transaction, the actual figures that profile a company or a group, and who really value what is at stake and what the legal risk is worth in the head of a client. In today's world, if you don't command the importance and the relevance of the materiality of the deal you're involved in, you're no longer a valuable lawyer. All these skills we have outlined need to be acquired and are the result of the interaction between a very, very demanding business world doing their activity around the world with the local knowledge that we lawyers draw from our law schools. This means that a lawyer is more than ever a work in progress. A lawyer is more than ever required to be trained for global law if he wants to conduct himself successfully as a lawyer. And this is irrespective of his local training. So in short, and reaching our conclusions, we are addressing a changing world at great speed. This changing world is affecting everybody, and this changing world is also affecting the way we practice law. International business law is part of global law. It is deeply rooted in Roman law, which is the source of both Anglo-Saxon case law and civil code law, the two main prevailing legal systems of the world. 
It is no longer acceptable for a lawyer to just know and command one of these two areas. If a lawyer has only a background in one of them, he needs to supplement it in the training field with the principles of the other area because he will face those problems in the practice. A number of skills involving language, commercial, leadership, teamwork, and others are very relevant for a lawyer in the coming world. Thank you very much for sharing your time with us today.